you want to make your life easier by scheduling social media inside HubSpot as well as everything else that you do? Well, that is possible using Marketing Pro and Enterprise. Let's dive in. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. So scheduling social media is one of those things that seems like a task that takes a long time, but sometimes it's because the tools aren't in front of you and bundled with everything else to make it easier. So let's dive in and look at actually how this works in HubSpot and how you can use those pro or enterprise tools to schedule and then manage and track the effects of your social media campaigns. So here inside of HubSpot, we've got the marketing tab, and this is, again is in pro or enterprise. And if you pull down marketing here, click on social, you'll wanna first connect your social accounts. So just like any other social scheduling platform, you want to select the platforms that you want to use, and then you'll need to log in with the system and verify it before it's gonna be able to show up here. But the best thing here is you can schedule Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn all in this one place. Plus, you can also link personal profiles of Twitter and LinkedIn to the platform. So if you wanted to be posting on behalf of thought leaders in your organization, that's possible too. So here from the social screen, we've got a couple of things we'll dive through here first. So managing is gonna be all of those posts that we're actually going to be looking at scheduling. So we'll get to that in a second. Monitor means we can actually then look at who is talking about us online, new Twitter followers, new interactions. Again, this happens to be really beneficial if you have a brand that has a lot of engagement and you're wanting to manage that inside the platform. And then analyze is gonna be that tab that gives you a perspective on how your social media overall is doing. And when you set up the platform, you can choose whether or not you want it to track interactions of posts that are scheduled outside of HubSpot or just in HubSpot itself. So let's actually take a look at what it looks like to schedule a post inside of HubSpot. Create social posts. And if you happen to be new to HubSpot or you haven't looked at this for a while, this interface has recently changed. And I, let me tell you, I actually, I really love this new uh, interface. So you pull this down and you can select the platforms that you want to publish to right here from the interface. And the best thing about Instagram here is you don't actually have to have an alert and then a push like you do on some other platforms that post right to the platform. Now there are some caveats. There's gonna be some certain types of posts you can't do inside of HubSpot. And quite frankly, there's you know those types of posts you probably can't do on other platforms too. So native video, uploading a video natively to LinkedIn, natively to Instagram, we can't do that here, but we're gonna do a heck of a lot here to promote your content. So we're gonna select Facebook, Instagram, we're gonna select Twitter. And as you can see, as I just mentioned, it's got my Twitter account here too as a thought leader. So. I'm gonna uncheck that just for the time being. And then LinkedIn, same thing, I've got my LinkedIn account. If I wanted to have my team post on my behalf, we could do that as well. So I've got all four accounts located here. We've got little red checks or red dots here at the top of each one that shows me there is a post coming. And now if you wanna think about the types of content you post in here, I'm gonna show you one might be, let's go ahead and find a blog that we want to promote. And I'm gonna pull a little bit of a, um, just a little clip out of the blog where I can actually then centralize this. So let's see, um, we're gonna take this and we're gonna take over to the social and we'll say a lot of the marketing tactics that worked well a year ago, losing their luster, what's working now, our um, inbound recap has more. And then I'm gonna take this URL and I'm gonna post that inside of the social and there we go. So you're gonna populate. So here on the right hand side, I love this. It gives you a preview of what your post will actually look like. And this is the thing that was missing in HubSpot previously. And now with the interface, the way we have it, it's awesome. So on the right hand side, we've got this, what it's gonna look like. We've got Instagram, what it's gonna look like. And you'll notice, here's the key thing about Instagram. Instagram still is gonna ask you to upload an image. So if you're expecting to just put a link in here and actually publish it, you're gonna run a little bit short. So with Instagram, you'll need to still upload an image to accompany your post information. Now, again, this applied to all of the platforms that we selected here, but if you're doing social media effectively, you should be customizing it for each platform according to how they talk, according to how the platform works. So we know that in Instagram, the platform doesn't allow you to click links. So you probably wanna adjust that. So let's do that now. If I click on Facebook, it's going to show me just the Facebook post. So I could actually then change this and I'm gonna remove this at inbound because it's not tagging anyone specifically there. If I go to scheduling for later or publish now, I can do that. I can also link it to a campaign. So if you happen to watch our campaigns video, you'll see that you can see all of the social media activity inside of that campaign view that you schedule right here. Super slick. 
Now, if I go to Instagram, HubSpot's telling you, remember, links in Instagram were not clickable. Okay, thanks, HubSpot. But if I wanted to here, I could say, you know, um, inbound recap is, has more. Um, visit our blog or copy and paste this URL to view more. Again, because we're instructing people what to do on Instagram, this one isn't as straightforward. What I typically suggest here strategy-wise is like, hey, we had such a great time at Inbound, and then I'd actually take the recaps of the posts and I'd put them here. And then I would say a full blog post over on the website, but you wanna give the meat of the content probably here on Instagram in the post itself. We're not gonna go into that here, but just some tips. So if I wanted to add media, it's gonna add media just like we do in HubSpot in other areas pulls up our image library. Let's pretend this image is actually the one that we wanna roll with. And so it would pull this up. And then again, I can schedule later. I can add to a campaign. I can publish now, so on and so forth. For Twitter, same sort of thing here. And actually in Twitter, if you know the person or the company's handle, you can tag them here and then it will tag them when it's posted as well, which is wonderful. And then on LinkedIn, same sort of thing. We can tag them on LinkedIn here. And if we select this, here we go inbound recap. So now I've actually selected and it's going to tag inbound when this publishes. Now the caveat with LinkedIn publishing is just like a LinkedIn company page, I could actually put a post out, tag my coworker Tyler, and it would tag him on the company page. Unfortunately in HubSpot at this time, when you publish on LinkedIn inside of this HubSpot scheduler, you can't tag people. So you can tag companies, but you can't tag people. So again, give a little, and there's some limitations as well. Same sort of thing, schedule, and then select a campaign. So if I wanted to schedule all these at once, I could, or I can click on review and simply run through the review as well, do a last minute like word check, spell check, whatever you wanna do, make sure that you know who it was created by, and then scheduled for what day, so on and so forth. So I'm actually gonna exit this, I'm gonna click save draft. And so let's say you have someone on your team that's creating drafts that need to be approved, before they go live, they'll just show up here under drafts. And then if that's actually approved, you can go in here and approve draft and then it would schedule for that time. So again, really easy. I think this makes it a lot more simple for teams to schedule inside of HubSpot. And then again, once you do publish those and you look over at the analyze area, you can start to see the effects of your effort. Now, one last trick that I'd like to introduce to you is actually this HubSpot plugin here at the top. It's gonna to be an extension and it's the HubSpot social extension. So what it does is we can actually, if you have HubSpot synced with your social accounts and you have this plugin installed, and again, you're logged in as a user and you have social permissions, I can say, you know what? I want to promote a blog post. So I'm gonna go back to that whole blog. I'm gonna select the second post here and it's lead scoring. And we're gonna say, you know what? I want to add this into our social schedule. Or let's say you stumbled upon a resource and you just love it. You wanna share it on your social channels. This little plugin here will allow you to do that. Click on it, it pulls up. You'll notice that I'm in as my portal here and I can choose which network I want to get started with. It's gonna pull the headline and then give me a link to the post. So again, best practices suggest you don't wanna just pull the headline and post it but you might say something like, um, love this article from Simple Strat. Check out lead scoring, finding 101, okay? And then you can go ahead and schedule it just like we did before, or you could save it as a draft. And if I actually click on the plus button, what's gonna happen is it's gonna duplicate that post. So let's say I wanna put it on another platform. I click on the plus button for LinkedIn, and now I've got a post for LinkedIn, and I can schedule both of them at the same time. So again, you can see how this works in saving you time, but also you're all on the platform, the same place you do all of your other marketing work, and it just really helps streamline things for you and your team. So that's it, that's how to schedule social and HubSpot. You can add those four types of accounts, and again, you can add individuals on the LinkedIn and the Twitter side. So hopefully this has been helpful. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button, and let me know if there's another topic you'd like us to shoot a video on. We'll see you next week.